So I've just finished the step of brainstorming in my design process and now I'm beginning simulation. My idea to provide the mechanical stability necessary to support the chair is to add a steel plate in the leg of the chair where the failure occurred. This steel plate will be epoxied into the chair. When epoxy is used in wood, it is designed so that it is stronger than the wood itself, so it is not a specific area of concern. The steel support, however, must be tested to make sure it can handle the compression and tension that it will experience due to the bending of someone sitting in the chair. I own a bandsaw to make the cuts necessary to add the steel to the wood. The bandsaw works with both a .025 inch and .035 inch blade. However, my .035 inch blade is dull, so I would prefer to use the .025 inch blade and save the money of buying a new blade if possible. In this model, there are stainless steel supports in each leg, as well as a few stainless steel bolts located in multiple places along the chair. Additionally, there is curved wood, which ScanSelf Pro has the capability to handle. I will use the multiple component capability of ScanSelf Pro to run a simulation to ensure that this chair will provide the necessary safety so that no one will be injured from it failing. My first simulation I have set up with a .035 inch steel support to make sure it is capable of providing the necessary mechanical stability to support the chair. The .035 inch steel support fails, I will know the .025 inch steel support will also fail. The simulation has been set up with restraints located at the bottom of the chair. A 225 pound force in the negative Z direction on the seat of the chair as well as a 50 pound force against the back headrest of the chair to simulate a more extreme scenario of someone sitting on the chair. The gravity box is checked so gravity will be applied and the resolution is set to around 46,000. I know this is a good resolution by viewing the solution grid. As you can see almost all cross sections have about three cube faces. This is the desired amount for an accurate simulation. The simulation is set up properly and ready to run. The simulation is complete and the chair is ready to be analyzed. Now let's view the danger level of the steel support to make sure this design will be safe. By viewing the maximum danger level of the steel support, we see that it is almost double the yielding strength of the steel. This means that it is likely to fail and this is not a safe design. I must reevaluate and come up with a new design option. For my new design, I have added two side support beams. This will help reduce the tension in the steel supports, hopefully enough so that the steel supports will not fail. This model was made using a .035 inch cut. If it passes, I will then be able to test the .025 support to see if I can get away with using the blade that I already own. To test this, I have once again set up a Scan and Solve Pro simulation using the same conditions as before. The simulation is ready to run. The simulation is complete and ready to be analyzed. Let's view the danger level to see if the steel will fail. The maximum danger level in the steel is about half of the yielding strength. The determined factor of safety necessary would be a danger level of 0.8. This is well within our range, so we can conclude that this option is safe to provide the necessary stability of the chair. One additional interesting area to look would be in the stress ZZ to view the tension and compression of the chair. The legend has been adjusted so that the orange and red are positive, which represent tension, and the yellow, green, and blue are negative, which represents compression. This is what we would expect to see by the deformation that the chair experiences. This type of bending will put the inner edge into tension and the outer edge into compression, which is exactly what the results show. The maximum stress in the ZZ direction is about 1.6 times 10 to the 4 PSI. Now let's analyze the .025 inch cut to see if I can get by with the tools I have. The same simulation has been set up and is ready to run. The simulation has been completed and the chair is ready for analysis. Let's view the danger level of the steel. The maximum danger level is .75 This is significantly larger than the danger level of the steel with the .035 inch cut. However, the .75 is still within our factor of safety. This means that our chair should be able to handle similar loads safely. From this conclusion, 
I know that I can now use my .025 inch saw blade and the wooden side braces with ease of mind that my chair will remain stable.